I'm checking into a family-run lodge in Island Park, Idaho, where business has taken a toll on a married couple that has lost their way. We've had a lot of hard years and a lot of arguing. I know we're in trouble. My struggle is not only to fix the lodge. That's 15 years of dust. <coughs> wow. Is that blood? But to renew the passion that they once had. The heart's gone. We need to get that back. It's about to collapse. When I first came into the area, I saw this piece of land. It was right next to one of the world's best fly fisheries, the Henry's Fork of the Snake River. And we jumped right on that piece of property and started building the lodge. I thought I could fly fish while I had the phone in my pocket taking reservations. And that actually happened early on in the early days in 1999. Dave would go cut the logs and peel the logs. Sometimes he'd make our sons peel some logs, but they were pretty, pretty little. Growing up here was something special. We literally worked every aspect of it. I started out as a little kid doing dishes and bussing tables and then waiting tables. When we finally got the lodge built and open, we would have like two hour waits and people loved it, loved it. The lodge was full every single night. It was going so well that they were getting ready to expand. And then that summer, uh, we lost my little brother. He was 10 years old when he died. It was, it was dark, it was a dark bad time. And my mom fell out. When we lost that little boy, our life stopped. And I went to bed for three years. And I didn't, I didn't get up. So without her here, my dad was forced to run everything by himself. And that's kind of the way he coped with everything. There was just a darkness and a sadness that surrounded our family for years. Business is quite slow. I'd say it's probably 25% compared to 100% back then. Dave and Dee need some help. Zach came back about a year ago to help me run the restaurant and lodge. He sees constantly how it's a struggle for me to keep up with the uh, restaurant side, so he came back to help. You take a young man, you stick him in there, and you put him as a general manager. A general manager, in my opinion, is somebody who needs to know the inside and outside of the whole operation. But he doesn't know these things. Dave and I are tired, and it's just like a black hole for us. And we don't want to work this hard anymore. Making a comeback is our last hope. It's my best hope. I've just arrived at Island Park, Idaho, and it is absolutely gorgeous. This city is nicknamed Last Chance because it literally is the last place to stop for food, gas, and lodgings before entering Yellowstone National Park. And this location is one of the most prestigious fly fishing areas anywhere in the world. It's a fisherman's paradise. There it is, Angler's Lodge. How on earth could this place go wrong? Look at that. Gorgeous. Wow, hello. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm Savannah. Savannah Gordon, nice, nice to see you. Me too. Wow. My goodness me, this place is gorgeous. Who built it? My father. No, stop. Yeah. Seriously. Their hands. You are kidding me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's all family business. We're wow. all in it together. Wow. Um, and recently, my oldest brother, Zach, took over the restaurant. So Zach's the restaurant manager. Mm -hmm. Is mum and dad around? I'd love to meet them. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll follow you. Wow. Uh, look at those beauties up there. That's a vegetarian nightmare up there. Yeah. <laughs> There's fish everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> huh? For real. Hello. I'm Dee Dee. Dee how are you? Very nice to oh, meet you. Preston, place. my brother. Preston, Preston good to see you. Likewise. Zach is my other. How are you doing, Chef? Well, this is definitely a family-run business, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Gordon, how are you? The gentle giant. 
<laughs> with a Midas touch by the looks of things. Uh, congratulations, this place is gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. Um, did you well, build it, really? I did build it. Wow. Just had a vision in my mind, and we put things up, took them down until it looked right. And do you live on the property? I do. We have a cabin right across the way. Just here? Yeah. Don't that's... tell me you built that as well. I did. <laughs> Where was the conversation you both had when you decided to go ahead and build it? We found this old beat up building. There was a for sale sign on the back side of it. So we made a deal and here we are, started building. Um, what was the dream, Didi? What was the ambition? Well, you know, we just love, love the beautiful river. We just thought it would boom, you know, because of the beauty. Yeah. It's really one of the most beautiful spots in Idaho. Right. And people just loved it. So there was like a two hour wait every night. How long ago was that? That was our first two years. Wow. Like so our first two years. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So it got off to a great start. What happened then? We hired another chef, and then people got mad because we changed the menu. After that, we had a tragedy. After the tragedy, my parents just kind of checked out. It was a really hard time for my family, and um, I think it showed in the lodge. You know, they couldn't put their whole heart into it because their heart was broken. So are you in love with it as much today as you were 10 years ago? I'm very proud of it and I love it, but I'm really tired. Right. We've been here a long time, you know. Our goal is to have the best restaurant in the area and, and 100 miles around, but through the years, we've just uh, lost interest in that. And he's really tired, you know. He doesn't want to work that hard anymore. Right. So you're the restaurant manager? Yes. And where did you train? I worked at a few really nice places when I was living in San Diego. That was where I, probably where I learned the most. Oh, so you went away and then came back? I've been gone for about nine years, yeah. Right. OK, I'm going to get to the room and pack. Um, Zach, why don't you show me to the room? Yes, sir. Oof. God, it stinks, <laughs> no? What's that smell of lemon? I'm not sure. God, that smell of lemon. I mean, why on earth would you need air freshener in here with such beautiful air? Oof. Yes, the smell in here is crazy, no? Let me just quickly open the window. Oh, I guess the back of your throat, right? <laughs> yeah, um, Is someone going to make up the beds? They are made. I've seen dog baskets uh, better. How old are they? They put in about five years ago. Bloody hell, seriously. Yeah, oh, they're shit. definitely old. Is that blood? I don't think so. What is that? I'm not sure. It's a stain anyway. Wow. OK, so um, I'll be down in a couple of minutes for a bite to eat. Sounds great. Yeah, what would you recommend? She does the rainbow trout here. What's her name? Her name is Gina. OK, great. Thanks for the update. Pleasure to meet um, you. Thanks, Zach. Wow. The view is breathtaking, but the colour is depressing. I mean, honestly, everything's dark and grey and dingy. And the pillars, look at those. How uninviting. Like, the dog sat on it for the last 10 years. Really do smell. What is that? It's like a piece of candy stuck on a pillow. That's terrible. It's almost like they've fallen out of love for this place. And look at that. Ugh, a big dirty stain. It's sad because it's almost on the verge of being neglected. And you've got two owners that have clearly run themselves into the ground. You think of a lodge in this area, you think of something that's cozy, it's warm, inviting. This is depressing. Oh dear, always a great way to find out how often the place is cleaned. Check out the filters. Oh dear, that's, that's 15 years of dust <coughs> shit in there. Turn this thing off. <coughs> it doesn't take much to clean that. Hence the reason why this room stinks of air freshener. Hey, how are you? Oh, so nice to meet Likewise. you. Likewise, nice to see you too. What do you think is wrong with the business? Staffing issues, servers, they're just constantly late and, you know, I wouldn't have a manager. But Zach's the manager. Yes, he would come in at three or four o'clock. Hey, in the he, afternoon? Yeah. But is that Dave's fault? Is he tight? Uh, does he not want to put money into the business? He wants to be as thrifty as possible. Yeah, you know. but this is your menu, right? Mm -hmm. You're the chef, so... Yeah, I know. So who dictates this? Dave, he never let anyone do the food orders, even. No chefs. Really? Mm -mm. But he's controlling you? Yes. And controlling the business mm. tightly, by the yeah. sounds of things. Yeah. Gina, thank you. Thank you. 
Does your dad realize when you build something this unique, mm -hmm. then you need to have a team to run it? I don't think so, no. I don't think he realizes at all. He doesn't know. No. He doesn't know one bit. He's and not. He doesn't let them order their own food? Uh, no. He watches every penny. Is he that controlling? He really wants to watch what's being sent out and what's being paid for, mm -hmm. the money. Zach, please. Excuse me. Thank you, Zach. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wings are for you, sir, with the homemade huckleberry barbecue sauce. Well, thank you. Are the wings fresh? I believe they come frozen. Gina knew I was coming, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't buy fresh chicken locally here. <laughs> Being served frozen food wasn't the start I was looking for. It looks like it's been dipped in elk's blood. In fact, the food just kept getting worse. Pulling back that ribeye is like pulling back that duvet on my mattress, blood stain, and wow, that's strong in alcohol. He's a good wine for this, right? Art. Gina claims her hands are tied in the kitchen. So at this point, I don't know who to blame. That rice is mush. Who cooked that? It's like oatmeal. What the fuck? Idaho rainbow trout with the herb risotto. Jesus. What's all the uh, squidgy bits around the outside? Those are all the sauces. All the sauces? Yeah. No. Yeah, seriously, yeah. Ah. Is that risotto or some of the plaster that your dad left over from building the new lodge? It's still got the scales on it as well. Why would you leave the skin that's soggy like some used condom? <laughs> that has to be the worst trout I've ever seen in my entire career. Wow. Does mum and dad see this food? Do they come and have dinner? They hate everything. They hate the, the dish or? Everything. They don't like the way that she does anything. And why is she here? When you're in the heat of the season, we kind of just take what we can get. You can't keep on changing your chef every year. I, I agree. We do it every year. Fuck it now. If this place wasn't run by your parents, would you work here? Hell no. Not, not for a second. I don't want to run a restaurant. How keen are you to get out? I, I'm desperate. And if you got a job tomorrow, would you be off? Yeah, I feel like I've kind of done my part, the part that I told him that I would do. You're obviously concerned, and you're doing it more out of affection as opposed to you really want to be here. Sounds like your mind's made up. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's get them out, please. Would you both come out, please? Both of us? Would you come out? Mm. Both of you. What if I don't want to? <laughs> Jeff Ramsey, nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Wow, uh, so I'm lost for words. What feedback did you get throughout my lunch? I didn't say anything didn't throughout say a this. Word to Nothing me. at all? Not yet. Course by course, you didn't even talk to them? No. Why not? I figured that was what you were gonna do when we were done. I was hoping at least you're gonna say something to them so they can up their game, no? I actually expected you to say something, and I thought, well, should I ask her? I kept thinking, okay, it must be okay. I haven't heard any comments. Don't you want the truth? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Do you know the owners hate your dishes? No. You don't know the owners hate your food? No, I did not know that. You've got no idea that Dee Dee can't stand the curry? No, I never knew that. I feel like people have been lying to me. Gina, I don't blame her. Let me, I, I'm gonna be frank. The ribeye was overcooked. It looked like we'd opened at the bottom of the dishwasher and that plug was blocked with bits of floating grease. Oh, <laughs> oh God. You may find it funny, but you're no, not no, a chef. No, it was funny the way you just described no, the No, but art, I mean... No, I'm not trying to laugh about the ribeye. No, no, but uh, fucking hell. Look where we sat, though. If you phoned me on my telephone in the car and asked me what do you think I'm going to be having, I would have never have mentioned those dishes. You did nothing to blow me away. I'm trying to use the ingredients that Dave asked me to use. A lot of it is cost, so I was tied to that. Art, you're the sous chef. Is there any synergy in what you're doing? No. You're just doing it to survive. No one's thinking long term. It's stifling the business. I'm amazed you're still open. Zach, I don't know if you've got one foot in, one foot out. You shouldn't be here. Yeah, I've not been super invested, that's for sure. Get the fuck out of here. Hi. 
So far, I've learned that Dave and Dee Dee are checked out, and Zach just doesn't want to be here. Tonight at dinner service, I'm curious to see if Dave is actually holding Gina back in the kitchen. Um, so, Gina, explain the line. Don't stop working, but Okay, I work right here in the saute area. And then I'll I'm take the care. section doing the burgers, the steaks. And Zach? He mostly stands behind the bar. So he's not the restaurant manager then, he's the barman. He's supposed to be. He went from the bottom to the top this summer. Nothing in between. But you don't get support from him. Doesn't know how to. Doesn't know how to. What's the uh, microwave for, Gina? Uh, to heat the dip up. Not my choice, but not my choice to do a lot of things. Wow. You're the chef, right? Yes. So what you say goes, no? Should be, chef. Jesus Christ. Why? Art. Did you make that? No. What is that? It's some kind of cheesecake. That was a collapsed cheesecake. It looks like a landmine. What year is that from? Like 1876. Wow. Next ticket. Karina, please. Your salad will be right up. Full time or part time? Full time. It's OK to chew gum in front of customers, or Dave just lets it go on? No, it's very gross. And Zach, I know you can't tell staff what to, but uh, this young lady's chewing gum. I just, I don't know. You're right, yes. Yeah. No, I know, but um, it's. It's not typical. No, yes. Sorry? Yeah, it's not typical. Laura, please shoot, spit your gum out. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, you're good. What's going on here? Yeah, you're right. She didn't have gum. Absolutely. Excuse me. For just one second. What the? What's going with the ribeye? Curry that I'm putting with a second, chef. But don't you talk to each other? So the food can hit the window at the same time. If you open up and talk to Art, then Art can take the sauce out of the container and heat it up in a pot. Yeah. If you'll hand it to me, I could do it right here. I got lots of time. I'm doing it. Man. For a tiny kitchen trying to expedite this food, it so never needs to be this hard. You know that, Gina? You don't like talking, do you? Um, it's hard for me when I'm working. I'm sorry. But you're doing desserts. Can't the young man do the desserts? Yes. I know. Wow. Everyone tells me I need to relinquish responsibility. Guys are more capable. He can slice a cheesecake with his nice clothes. Yes, chef. Anyone can do but it. But you prefer wasting time doing it yourself. I know. Just as it couldn't get any worse. The problem with this lodge is becoming more apparent. There's just no communication. Gina doesn't speak to the kitchen. Dave and Dee Dee ignore the problems, and Zach just doesn't know how to take command. Oh, man. So dysfunctional. Yeah. Oh, my chicken is a little cold. Oh, is it? What does she say? The chicken breast is cold. Cold. Gina, this chicken is cold. She would like a new chicken breast on her. Absolutely. New chicken breast, please. Just stop for two seconds. Yes, sir. Zach, get me. Art. Well, I just want you to touch that. Touch it. It's Art. ice cold. It's ice cold. That's what we resulted in sending. You're just drowned, weighing over your head. A mess, a big mess. M E W -S, S. Oh, man. So I was underwhelmed and disappointed. You build this place to the absolute spec, beyond belief, but. I was disappointed in my room. The bed's terrible. Zach, I pulled back the top duvet and there was blood underneath the duvet. The air conditioning filters were just full of shit. It was really shoddy. Really shoddy. And it broke my heart. I didn't even build the fucking place. Right. And, and look at the kitchen tonight. What I don't get is the service and the offering, because it was shocking. The chicken goes out ice cold, slightly pink, and nobody cares. And that dreadful cheesecake. Well, that cheesecake collapsed when I left the kitchen the Get other night. Get rid of it. I, I was, I did today. No, you didn't. I know. I mean, you're fucking nuts. Okay. Nuts. You wrote that menu. Gina. I did. You said your hands were tied, so you've got no freedom. Um, Dave gave me 
more freedom, I believe, than he's given chefs in the past. So sorry, you have freedom. I'm just going on what you told yes, me. Yes, I, I mean, he now I'm not me... talking about chefs. And listen, you told me lunchtime, your hands were tied, and you can't buy anything. You can't talk to suppliers. And what Dave says goes. Yes, I mean, basically. Dave, do you handcuff Gina? No, I've not handcuffed her. Only thing I try to do is get her to cost compare. You've got to try to keep food costs lower. Are you telling me that what you're sending is value for money? It's no, it's not. Nowhere near it. Am I the only one that believes what we're doing is incorrect? Zach, you're not a restaurant manager. Your heart's not in it, young man. Mm -hmm. And I asked you one vital question lunchtime. If your parents didn't own this restaurant, would you be here? And immediately, hell no. I know we're in trouble. The lodges around here are more successful. They're much more successful, and they're not even half as lovely. Can I just have five minutes with you? Do you mind? OK. Let's go, uh... Thank you. This is on a deck of cards at the moment that I feel it's about to collapse because it's built with no infrastructure. Mm -hmm. How's the strain of the business affected you and Dave? We've had a lot of really, really hard years, you know, a lot of arguing. Things that I think are really important, um, he doesn't, and vice versa. Why is he so stubborn in a way that he's so overbearing and so controlling? I think he's just really scared of uh, losing things, so he tries to watch everything, you know, and Dave wanted Zach to kind of learn the business so that in case anything happened to him, that we didn't lose everything, our kids didn't lose anything, all of our investment, right? And you probably know the terrible things that we went through. Well, I disappeared, right? Because I couldn't function, so he did it all himself. He ran the business without me, and he did the best he could, and he just did what he has to do, and that's what he does. He does what he has to do, and he knew that I was gone, and so he he ran up by himself. Yeah. He needs to accept that he can't continue like this. Mm -mm. His heart might be in the right place, but his head's not in the game. Mm -hmm. You've got the view. The building's there, but right now it's just a shell. It's had better days. For sure. Really, really good days at the first. It was wonderful. We need to get that back. Good morning. Good morning. I came here yesterday and I asked everyone to be open and honest. And the first time I heard any honesty last night was with your mother. Not easy, that is it? I um, don't condone your behavior. My behavior was what? I just felt like your la mm. the language that you used wasn't that of an English gentleman like I would expect. I'm deeply sorry about that. What, what language did I use? A lot of F words. Um, I don't appreciate you using that language with my angel of a mother and my sister. Can I just stop you there? Because you're over-exaggerating a little bit. Because I'm not going to give you brownie points standing in front of your mother telling me how upset you are when you're laughing and giggling with me at the same time. You see it as it is. You have to call it as it is. I like the fact you're standing up. So it takes me to swear for you to step up and act like a man. Please, you don't know shit. Did you just curse? That's disgusting behavior, young man. If you want to have a little chat with me later, together, one on one, I'd love that. But stop being a hypocrite. You've just sworn in front of your mother. That was a mistake, and I apologize, Mom. The hours you turn in, four o'clock in the afternoon, I don't know how you can call that a full day's work. Gina was frustrated with the fact you don't commit. Staff get no direction. And you walk around shaking cocktails. But I don't need to prove to you my no, ask it. No, no, I'll ask you to prove it to me. Your father put you in charge of the restaurant. So the big question is, what is your son Zach doing here? My view was that he was going to come help me run the restaurant. He's not even going to feedback or talking to Gina or even just asking servers to not chew gum 
Yes, it, it concerns me a great deal. OK. Shall we move on? I've got something really important to tell you. Please, yes. It's something that you're not familiar with. It's called feedback. Well, let's hear it. I spent some time this morning just travelling around, driving, thinking, contemplating, and popping into local places. Fly fishermen, locals, houses, cabins, you name it, I went there. Uh, the sad news is they don't want to come and sort of tell you to your face because it's a small community. Um, but I've got the feedback. My daughter had a wedding reception held at the lodge. We'd go back and celebrate, but over the years, things have gone downhill. Dave makes us very, very unwelcome, and he has pushed the town away. It doesn't feel like they want us there. The owner seriously, well, needs help. He's a total horse's butt. He has no idea how to handle employees or his customers. There was a time the community rallied round to help them, but he showed no appreciation, so it didn't last very long. After time, he was a jackass again. Couldn't care less, too bad. So much potential there. Maybe they don't care. I don't know why everybody thinks I'm a horse's ass. I guess I am, huh? I try to be friendly to people. I, I treat them just like I treated you. If I come across cold and arrogant. You come across controlling, and yeah. you come across assertive. Yeah. We need to get them on our side, whether we like it or not. Their last comment to me was that if you are prepared to change and commit to change, then they would walk through those doors. Uh, Dave, I just want to spend a couple of minutes with you. Do you mind? Okay. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. Why does Zach get so uh, defensive like that? I think insecurity, maybe. Um... Guys, can you just give me five minutes, please? In fact, let's go outside. In fact, let's jump in the car. I mean, honestly, I'm here to help. Yeah. You, you come across so withdrawn. I don't know what to do about that. Where, where did that level of negativity come in? Well, it started when I first broke ground here, and all the locals started attacking us and trying to shut us down. You know, you have to put your head down and start swinging it. But then you were successful. Yeah, we were successful. And then I hired a shitty chef, and then they all took off and went away. And then I found a good chef, and some of them came back. But I yeah. can't please them all the time. Sure, but it's not all about the chef, Dave. It's, uh, you, you have to take part of the responsibility. You know, so these people leave um, and they let you down. You know, at the end of the day, that's on your shoulders, right? Yes. Dee Dee dealt with that tragic loss yeah. of your son, and that took her a long time. Did you seek help when no. you lost your son? No. Did, 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 who'd you talk to? I no mean, one. No one? You, so you just came back into work? Yeah, then. the next day. The next day? there was no one here. I mean, how did you get through? How? Well, I just get through, you know. You, you go day by day. Time, time helps heal, you know, but there's a hole in your heart that never heals, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's never going to. Yeah. But have you expressed this to Dee Dee and that that's how you dealt with it? Because I think she's a little bit in the dark. I think she struggles to read you. Well, maybe. I just deal with it by, on a sure. daily basis. You know, there's not a day goes by I don't think of my son and the loss, but, you know, you, you move on, you know. I still have to make a living. I still have to take care of Dee Dee's feelings and the kids and all of that. You know, sure. and the kids got spoiled in the process because we coddled them a little bit, and yeah. it's obvious. And, and Zach's a product of that. But, yeah. you know, I, I come from, I believe that they should earn it. Yeah. But I'm in a situation, and I have been in a situation where, you know, my wife doesn't agree with that philosophy. So it's a constant friction. And same way with managing our restaurant and our business. She comes in here and wants to coddle employees and doesn't expect them to hold to standards. And I come in and I try to get yeah. them to hold to standards and I'm an asshole and we have conflict at home. So uh, as a result of that, I've tried to minimize the conflicts and let Zach deal with the restaurant because that's where most of our sure. conflicts were. The business may have suffered. I may have been an asshole on occasion. I don't know what to do about that. You know, she, she doesn't understand my personality, but I'm a... Sometimes I take no prisoners and it offends people and Dee Dee doesn't understand that mindset. Mm -hmm. She's more of a, a all fluff. You can't build this thing like that. You're a tough fucker on the outside, but you have a heart and you can show emotion. I have a big heart. Then people need to see it. Yeah. Um, 
I'd like to talk to you about something that's been missing. When you built this place, we started off so well, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. So I've put something together that I think will help reinstate that love. Yeah. Bring that back to the forefront. Let's have a look. Wow, who's that there? Hey. Um... <laughs> look at that hair. Yeah. <laughs> Man, what happened? <laughs> Hell of I know. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Wow. Talk about handcrafted. Even the boys. Yeah, look how little, look how little they are. Yeah. yeah that's rare. Dave Smiley. Yeah, that is rare. Yeah, that, 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 I want to freeze that one there. <laughs> oh, man. Incredible. You know, sometimes it's easy to forget. This is why you built this amazing lodge for the family, right, Didi? Yes. Oh. Chokes me up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Now, that's a picture I haven't seen forever. We need to frame that one on the wall. <laughs> These are the most amazing pictures. Beautiful. <laughs> Something quite magical about that first fish, right? Dee Dee, when you see those amazing pictures, what goes through your mind? Oh, just, just the memories and dreams that we had, you know, and everything just getting better and better and better, you know? And, and then just enjoying the property all of our life, right? It's a stern reminder to why you built this place. And just watching your face light up, reminiscing in some of those amazing times, it's so nice to see. Yeah. I didn't see it when I arrived. And that's what's been missing. Yeah. Those were good times. When we look back at the pictures that, of building the place, it brings back that energy that we had then. And um, it really does mean something. You know, we had, we've, we've raised a family here. We've, we've raised our kids here. All those memories were good memories. So it's always been worth fighting for, for me. You need to fall back in love with it. But more importantly, with each other. Yeah. How important is this to you both? It's everything. It's the world, yeah. It's the world to us. It's all we have when it's done and said, you know. We spent our best years building this place and running it. And... You're confident we can get back there? You've got it in you? Yeah. Oh, I feel so much better because now we're moving past all the bad things and we're starting to take a look towards the good things. After boosting the spirits of Dee Dee and Dave, it was time to elevate the lodge itself. My team spent all night working to turn the Angler's Lodge into a destination worthy of its rich family legacy. Let's go. I can't wait to show the family what we've done. In you go, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Enjoy. Wow, look at that. Come on, jump in. Oh, how beautiful. Perfect. Oh, my God. Wow, look at that. Oh. Gone is that hideous blood color. <laughs> um, inviting, gorgeous. Let's start off with that amazing reclaimed wood. <laughs> the bedspreads, brand new. Oh, I love it. New carpets. It's just beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. I think you've uh, you've opened our eyes to what the place can be. You've done a great job. It's just Gorgeous. beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing. It was just like a new joy. Kind of like when we opened it up the first time. It was like a brand new joy. It's something that we can reach for after going through such hard times. So we know what to do now. Look at the rocking okay. chair. <sighs> Nice. We don't even want to leave. Oh, it's just beautiful. Hello. Hi, Hi guys. Yeah. Good. You guys here to check in? Yes. yes we Great. Are. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Hi, Alex. How are you? Good to Good. see you. Oh. You should see what they did to the rooms today. It was, it's amazing. I've created a delicious new menu, perfect for this region. And my team have been training the staff non-stop to prepare them for a successful relaunch tonight. Here is our dinner menu. I've invited the locals back and a local food critic, so the lodge can rebuild these important relationships and get their reputation back on track. Everybody's attention just for a second. Our critic is sitting, watching, paying attention to everything that's going on. Thank you. 
Hello, we just wanted to welcome you all to the lodge and I hope you're enjoying your evening and uh, we appreciate you all coming in and trying us again and uh, we'd love to have you back. Can't beat the setting, of course, and from now on our food's gonna match all those things. So hope you're having a great time. Very nice to have everybody back. Okay. Welcome, have a great time. <laughs> One short rib right up here. What are you doing? What are you doing? For the short rib, right? Right now it's going. Three ribeye. Yes, chef. And then you're doing short rib. Are we send the appetizers. Look, look at me. No, you know, I didn't, chef. So, it's my so, fault. Oh, for fuck's sake. Gina, Gina, come here. Man. Come here. You're not even helping yourself. You're not talking to me, and you're just going into one. Okay. I'm going to force you to talk. Okay, so. Gina. Yes. Are you okay? I'm okay for you now. You sure? I promise. Okay, good. Again, Art's there. He can serve the soup. Art, right, would you please? Absolutely. Okay, soup boiling. We send the soup with one nice kale salad. So next up, Art, dress me a kale salad. No, no, no. I've got the salad. You got the salad, okay? Yes. Why can't he make the salads? Never has to be this difficult. But you can't work on your own. I've worked on my own many times, Chef. Gina, yes. Gina, come here. Come here. Are you listening, or are you giving up? No, no, by no means. I mean. told you, you cannot work on your own. You just shout. I work on my own all the time. Is it best you go now? No. You can't work on your own. I understand, Chef. You're going to sink this place. Get a grip. OK? okay? Yes, it's not difficult. Next ticket? Um, yeah, FYI in there tonight. Gina's struggling. Yeah? Kurt stepped up, Art stepped up. Uh, but with a menu that easy, if your mind's not in that, uh, you know, you've got no chance. Kale salad in the window, table 26, seat one. Thank you. Is that for the uh, critic? Yes. Yeah. Did you season it? I did salt, pepper, and Give me a fresh one, please. Um, Art, take over, please. Uh, Gina, take a step back. Art, Gina's on the desserts. Let's go. OK, I got chicken in the oven. So were those three apple crisp in the oven, or you forgot them? They are in the oven, Chef. Yeah. Uh, Dunny, reheating a dessert, I expect you to nail. That's your yeah. table. You know that nice and gently. Yes, sir. Off we go. Roasted chicken with a crispy skin. And we can't do a scoop of ice cream. No answer. We can't do a scoop of ice cream. It's cold in the middle. OK, I will be done, no, Chef. Stop. Stop. I want you to take your apron off and okay. then go home. Art, take over, please. OK. How's my desserts? Ready to roll? It's not working, is it? I'm just nervous. No, it's not working. You know it's not working. I'm not going to shout, I'm not going to scream. It's just, it's unfair. It's unfair in you and it's unfair in the lodge. You're sending a short rib to a table that we haven't even sent the starters. No. You, you, you're, you're destroying the lodge. I've got a critic that's just landed. One mistake like that, and this place is going to close. Heard, understood. I'd like to finish out the evening and see how it goes. It's not working. If you're going to go back in that kitchen, what are you going to do differently? What's the point? I want to keep working so that I can get it down. She's not listening. You're not listening. You're not, even, you're not even prepared to take any advice, any help. I know. It's been a long time, Chef, since somebody was telling me exactly what to do, and it's different for me. We, we can't continue like this. There's no point in fighting this. Yes, sir. Oh, man. OK. Dee Dee, darling. Dave. Gina. It's just not up to speed. Yeah. Right? If you can't work with this menu, it's not going to happen, so... Yeah. The good news is Art and Kurt already up to speed. Already. Mm. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good news. Uh, good feedback for the customers? Incredible. Huh? Everybody really was very happy, loved yeah. everything, compliments all around, not a single complaint. That's great. That's great. Any difficult questions on the critic? Nothing difficult at all, no. He was uh, he's very friendly, very nice, and just really enjoying everything. He's like, this was simple, and it was beautiful, and it was perfect. Awesome. Nice. Good night, right? It was a really good yeah. night. You happy? Yeah. I am happy. Good. Very happy. <laughs> that's nice. I'm just so happy to have that's so nice people to see back happy. in here. You yeah, know? well, I mean, they're happy, right? Yeah. That's the most important thing. But there's one tiny missing link. Someone that I've arranged for all three of you to meet. 
Her background is extraordinary. She knows the area inside out. And I've asked her to come here for a month and help set this place up. And I want you to benefit from her knowledge. Please welcome Emily Hello, Brown. Hello, how are you? I'm Emily. Dee Dee. Dee Dee, pleasure. Hi, Zach. Nice to meet you, Zach. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to see you. Likewise, welcome. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Um, first of all, she knows this business inside out, and she's excited to work as a consultant for a month and help set this place up for a very, very busy season. Yeah, I've heard all about you guys. Really yeah. excited to get you guys where you really need to be, so. Well, welcome. welcome. Um, I want you two to do something you haven't done for a long time. <laughs> I'd like you to take your dear lady and go and have dinner. Oh, nice. Won't that be nice? Yeah. Tonight. <laughs> Zach's got a table for you. Oh, uh, that'd be great. Excellent. It's the first time I've seen him holding hands. Aww. I like the room. Do you? Mm -hmm. See Dave smiling? It's like the pressure's lifted off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the love is rekindled for sure. And I'm really excited to have everybody in Island Park start coming back again and being excited about the lodge like they were when we first built it. Uh, my time is done. You're Are you leaving now? Are you leaving now? I am leaving now. You guys have a great spark here. Trust me, you need to show it. Don't stop. Good night. Take Good night. care. God bless. Thanks. Thank Bye. You. Enjoy dinner. Thank you so much. Take care. <laughs> Here's to me and you, man. Cheers. Better days ahead. Yeah, to a new lodge. Wow, what a night. Oh, man. That's better. Man, that's cold out there. Look the fucking handbrake. Where's the gear stick on the steering wheel? I shouldn't drive. Fucking useless. Man. <laughs> After I left the lodge, the family embraced the many changes and is excited about the future. Both Dee Dee and Dave have rekindled their passion. You're doing good, honey. We're a good team. And are enjoying working together to make Angler's Lodge the place to be once again. I'm visiting an inn in Massachusetts that's been run by a dysfunctional couple. I love you so much, but you suck as a business partner. He's lost. I have no idea what I'm doing here. And she's lost it. <sighs> Just wanted to keep it together tonight. And with the staff suffering as well, what's the worst thing she's ever done to you? Smack me on the back of the head. I'm not even sure if I can get through to them. The whole operation is screwed. What do you think we should do? Close. Come on, nice night. Nestled in the heart of scenic New England lies the small industrial town of Southbridge, Massachusetts. It's home to the Vienna Inn and Restaurant. Husband and wife, Jonathan and Lisa Kroc, have owned and operated the inn since buying the property back in the year 2000. Jonathan had this crazy idea of creating the Vienna as an Austrian restaurant and bed and breakfast. She said, have you been drinking? No, not yet. <laughs> we try to transport people and to give them that feeling of being in Vienna without having to fly there. When people come in and they stay here for the first time, they think that Jonathan and Lisa are a very gracious host, charming, the perfect married couple. But if you dig a little bit deeper and you stay a little bit longer, find out it's quite a different story. Lisa is an emotional person. She does get upset often. She will just, you know, explode, and she can't help but be upset. She's over the top. My beautiful wife, my boss. Sometimes she's not so nice to me. Why do you always have to dress like a goddamn, like, bum? There has been a time where I called her a psycho bitch, because she was being a psycho bitch. Clean up, man. Yeah? I'm done with this. I don't feel like Lisa is authentic. When she's crying, I don't feel like she ever means it. <laughs> Jonathan and Lisa live in a room at the inn. You can hear them screaming at each other, and you can hear it in the dining room, so there's no boundaries. They'll come down after the shift at the end of the night, and they'll have cigars, have some drinks. 
the environment can quickly become unprofessional. So go up to a table and ask them about like their sex lives. You are good looking. We don't get that many locals at the Vienna. There's like a lot of things that people think in town about the Vienna, and I think it's become a little taboo. You have uh, those rumors going around, and people say, oh, the Vienna, they're all swingers. It's a big brothel. It's just, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That being said, we're very friendly people. Very friendly. People from the outside think that Vienna's doing very well and we're very prosperous, but somewhere in there, we're losing. They're dragging us down with them, and if they want us to help them, they, they need to help us. The Vienna is our home, has been for 13 plus years, and, you know, it's hanging by a thread. And this 5.30 at table five. You're walking right in. We want to be ready for it. This place. Oh my God. What happened to him? He didn't last very long, did he? He found our cat. <laughs> huh? Bloody hell. Dead cat and a cabbage. Isn't that funny? Good morning. Hello, welcome. Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Gordon, first name is? Melissa. Melissa. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Lisa Crock. Lisa, nice to see you. You don't uh, look very happy. I do. Um, I, uh, oh, it's it's, your happy it's my resting face. Wow. Well, um, yes, welcome to the Vienna. I'm so happy to be here. What well, happened to the cat? <laughs> Poor thing. Cat got run over. Oh, I see. And you got it stuffed? For Halloween. Right. Actually, better to see you now. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, love the attire, by the way. Thank you. Everyone wears this. Wow. How much are the outfits? About $300, $400. $300? Average, you know. They get their own. I mean, they're their own dresses, you know? Oh, you buy your own uniforms? Yes, yes. they do. Stop it. We do. Well, they have them for many years, and it reminds them to not gain weight. <laughs> wow. So who designed the place? Well, uh, my husband and I. And whose idea was it to buy it? Uh, my husband. So it wasn't yours? It was not my idea, actually. Very much against it. Wow. Uh, uh, why were you against it? It was very overwhelming. I had two small children, but probably uh, after I lost my mind the first year, I think we started to get a hang of it. And who's Austrian? Are you from? My husband's half Austrian oh, and see. Polish. Right. I, I'm not nearly as exotic. I'm very no. American. Right. And he's the chef, right? So he runs the restaurant kitchen and you run the inn? Correct. And whose idea was the uh, violins on the table? Mine. Where did that come from? That was actually from an estate sale down the street. A dead man's violin? No, yeah, me, no. why not? I don't want to sit across the table with my wife and look at a dead man's violin. Well... A bit freaky, no? I don't know. What would you rather look at when you see the Vienna? Her. Who's her? Uh, my wife. Oh, your wife, yes. Yeah. But you have to have something in it to make up that white space. What would you suggest? Uh, my wife. <laughs> You're gonna put her on the table? That's kind of scandalous. I am so fucking confused. Dead man's <laughs> violin. What about some flowers? Bloody hell, is this place always as clustered as this? And who's that there? A Prussian family, of course. That was uh, Friedrich, that uh, their family all was murdered. Uh, murdered? So hungry, yes. Wow, so dead man's violin, mm -hmm. uh, murder on the wall. Um, great story to uh, encourage a nice, warm, welcoming dinner. So, um, why don't I check in upstairs? You can do that right now. Yes, please. Yeah, why okay. not? Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. wow. Interesting indeed. Just a clutter. Your bedroom's over here. Rocking chair? Where's that from? That's actually the first no. piece I ever refinished. Wow. So you're quite an antiques hoarder. Room service. Yes. Oh, room service. Come in. Holy Go mackerel. Now, what we have here is some pulled boar. Shredded, oh, shredded. Yes, right. And then you have a little celery root right on top. Wow. And what's that? It's a little parsley. Well, excellent. Um, well, take one. Would you like me to have one? Yeah, of course. There's three, three pieces. Okay. Excellent. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, you're welcome. Oh, hold on, wait, wait. Let me put a little bit of the garnish on there. You want me to have that? Well, yeah, we'll have a little piece each. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Uh, what did you think of that, by the way? Celery root, really don't like it. The pulled boar, maybe just a bit more salt. Wow, and what did you think of that? I think it's a nice little surprise for people when they come in to uh, mm. liven up their appetite. Ball was very watery. It was very watery. I did and the that. bread was soggy, soaking wet. Soggy. Mm. From the celery root. Mm. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Please pass on my uh, comments to the chef. I definitely will. There we go. Oh dear. Okay. Wow. And who designed these bedrooms? I designed everything. You designed. Mm -hmm. I wallpapered wow. it as well. Uh, seriously? What's this? That's a, another closet. What do you mean, another closet? I don't have a closet in my bedroom. That's a closet that we have because there's an area but, over here for guests to use. But where am I going to hang my clothes? Right over here. Oh. You don't need an entire closet. So if you need clothes out of your closet, you I come have in to my plan bedroom. Ahead. Do you have the key on you? I do. Can I see inside? I'm just a bit freaked with locked doors in my bedroom. Gosh. Really? Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. It's right here. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> just my closet. Holy crap. Stop yeah. it. Stop it. Seriously? All my stuff. It's like a garage sale in a closet. That's why we keep a lock on it. Well, I've got no interest in wearing any of the garments, but thank you. You sure? I, I'm, I'm positive, 100% uh, okay. positive. <laughs> Bloody hell. What's the price of this room? This one is 220. dollars $220. Correct. Yeah. And I have to share my wardrobe with the owner. But what's through this room here? Well, that actually goes to my bedroom. So do you just walk in when you need to get some clothes? From here? No, but from um, your bedroom to my bedroom. Well, I only do that once or twice a week. And what's this? Wow. It's a, an antique purse that was actually found in the house, and we thought it was really neat to uh, be able to have. That's, for, that's a toothbrush holder in case you decide to take it along with you. That's a toothbrush holder? Or you could stick tampons in there if you really wanted to. <laughs> we do that. usually have those. Oh, they're not in there right now. There well, you go. an old lady's case. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to think of clever ideas to make this feel like a historic inn. Historic? Mm. It's definitely historic. Oh, bloody hell, how old is that? You need that? Uh, no, it's just fascinating <laughs> to see what's in my basket. Thank you for that. Oh, dear. Everything looks dated. I mean, first impressions, it looks very, very tired. What is all that? That's like they? somebody wants to throw roses right. on the bed. Oh, for God's sake. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> and then they go back in the drawer. I guess Once so. you've used them. OK, well, I'll, I'll uh, look forward to seeing you downstairs. I'll have lunch. Super. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Jesus. That's freaky. The owner's bedroom is literally a metre away. The place is so dated. What a mess. Fuck. Everything's just cluttered. What a mess. Look at this. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, seriously. Bloody hell. Packed with shit everywhere. More decorations. Terrible. Shall I sit here, Right here. Have a Thank seat. Thank you. You can uh, which sit one? wherever you prefer. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get some food out. Want to get some food out? Yeah. What's in here? <laughs> Jesus. Lisa, there's junk everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Everywhere. Is the whole house packed like this? Of course it is. Why? It's crazy. Have you always been this bad? It's a new thing I'm coming at terms with. Right. <laughs> it's just a... But you do have a problem I, with it. Actually, no. I, I, I think I've actually gotten rid of a lot of things you in the past couple years. Don't have a problem with everything I've just seen in the last 10 minutes. Wow. Oh, well. You go. Right, right. let's, well. uh, oh geez. Um, do you know how to say all these? How do you pronounce that? Sufgar. <laughs> um, you, you've been here a long time. You must right. know the lingo. Sufgar tafel. A lot of people must point to what they want to order, right? Yes. Or just pick up the last line. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Konigsberger Klops. Wow. 
And how long has this uh, menu been running like this? Uh, since the beginning. Oh, 13 years ago? Yes. Stop. Yes. Seriously? Yes. Uh, let's start off with, go for the scallops. Okay. Let's do the beer batter, the sauerkraut. Yeah, let's go for that. Um, and Absolutely. throw the uh, vegetarian mushroom ravioli in as well. Wonderful. Okay, great. I'll keep hold of the menu for now. Okay. Thank you. Sear it in first. Whoa. Yeah. Almost lost it. Regroup, regroup. Where is Missy? I'll bring it right That's out. Mr. Ramsey's first. Red pepper for blanc? Yes, sir. Our seared diver scallops with a red pepper beurre blanc. Wow, thank you. And scallops are normally round, right? Yes, they are. We have beautiful sea scallops. I'm not sure why they cut it up today. No, nor am I. Oh, well, excellent. Okay. Thank you job. very much. Looks like the dogs chewed them. I mean, seriously. That's rancid. What's up with that one? Excuse me? Would you like me to give me any comments back to the chef? Comments? Yeah, those shit. Thank you. Yeah. Terrible. We'll have Val take care of it for you. Who's Val? Me. I like the way you talk about yourself in the third person. Seared diver scallops. Um, Tastes like shit. Tastes like shit, really? Wow, OK. Any specific kind of shit, or just? No. Diarrhea. No shit? Oh. These here are the sauerkraut and baktig. And are these uh, edible flowers or not? They are. Chrysanthemum seeds. They are. Mm -hmm. OK, great. Thank you. All right. Hmm. Dear, oh dear. They are terrible. I mean, the food is so dated, it's extraordinary. They look like a pair of camel's bollocks. Hmm. This I have here is the mushroom cream. Delicious. Taro and cream, wow. I mean, what a fucking mess. Hmm. There she is, fucking hell. Val. Val. Yes. Delicious. I mean, you're fucking, kidding me. No, no, I'm fucking delicious. Seriously, really good. Now the flowers, I'm all about. Ah, you had me going there for a whole second. I thought it was all about the food. I, I... Maybe next course. Jonathan, the flowers are absolutely delicious. The flowers? And this menu doesn't change every decade. It's the same menu that's been on for 13 years. Jonathan doesn't change Stephanie much. Dishes. Oh, sorry, I asked you a question, Lisa always answers. Go on, you. you... Jonathan doesn't change much. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. No, you, you answer Melissa's question first, then I'll go back to Melissa. You said, this doesn't change, but once a decade, and I said, Jonathan doesn't change much. Right. Um, you've been here a long time. You've seen the place uh, in decline. Um, what's the big issues here? A little disorganization. Um, things unclear. Yeah, uh, nothing consistent. Yeah. And, you know, one puts the other on edge, and we get the brunt end of it. Lisa's listening to every word you're saying. I, I can barely hear you. No, no, I was just talking to Miss. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll leave. No, no, do whatever you need to do. Um, what's the worst thing she's ever done to you? Uh, smack me on the back of the head and in front of the customers. Seriously? In front of the customers? Not hard, but still uh, demeaning. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah. Damn. So there was under seasoned? Over seasoned? Under seasoned. Really? Which? Everything. Wow, um, where's Lisa? I will grab her for you right away, Mr. Gordon. And grab Jonathan too as well, will you please? I will, Gordon. Yeah. And anyone else in the kitchen, please? Okay. Excuse me, Lisa, Jonathan. Yes. Can we meet up in front with Gordon? That's the most edible thing in here. Uh, right, ooh la. Um, first impressions. I look outside, historic in. Unfortunately, you've misspelt that. It's prehistoric. Everything's so dated. I go up to the room and the room's shoddy. Jonathan, do you not think it's a bit weird that A, my door's open adjacent to your bedroom, but your wife's clothes are in my closet? I never thought of it that way, but I guess that is. It's weird. That was shocking. You just served me one of the worst lunches I've ever eaten. And it was that bad, I started eating the edible flowers. You can't be proud of what you've just served me no, and charged absolutely me. absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're correct. You clearly have given up. It tastes like it, and it feels like it. What do you think we should do? Close, because your heart's not in it. And I think your head's just in with the clouds. Embarrassing. Pretty fucking awful. It sucked. Caught me off guard completely. I mean, you knew he was coming. 
I did. Really embarrassing. I really thought we tried harder and... I let you down, I'm sorry. You did let me down. I'm really sorry. I always try to tell you that we need to change things, we need to make them sexier, and you never want to listen to me. <laughs> I've always wanted to change, and you always say I'm too random, and it's not. I'm not random. I'm trying to show you ideas and things that we can do differently. <laughs> Socks. He couldn't have cooked worse than he did. Can you pull my ankle? It hurts so much. I'm never gonna be able to walk tonight. Oh, God. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. We'll figure something out. He doesn't fucking listen to me, does he? Oh, I feel so good. I'm not really that upset. I'm just crying because I want to right now. I've heard rumors around town that the basement is known as a swingers hangout and is used for late night parties. So before dinner service, I want to take a look at what's downstairs. Wow, look at this. My God. Some really expensive stuff. This is crazy. I can't believe how much stock there is here. It's like they're spending the money in all the wrong places. Look at that, this place goes on and on. Oh my God. Please shout before entering the mineral spa. Mineral spa. Oh my god. This is like a dungeon. Dungeon for swingers. Tonight is crucial because I need to get my eyes on how Jonathan and Lisa are running the hotel, since both of them seem to be on different pages. Can I uh, get you beverages to start with? We're getting some wine. Okay. I was, I was thinking Cosmos, but wine is great. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. I've never seen a kitchen so cluttered. It's been worse, believe it or not. How come the food just sits there? Right at the moment, our timing is really not at all good. What are these for, Jonathan? Those are little pre-meals, little crackers, little piece of cheese. Pre-meals. I give that to you to get rid of, please. Uh, to get rid of? Yeah, I eat trash. Oh. You can't serve that on yeah. bits of paper for customers to eat. You can't ask them to dip into a fucking doily with a cracker and then a flowering and mm, yum, 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 yum. It's just, no, it's a bit fucked up, Jimmy. You know I mean? It's not your place, but it's just a bit weird. You okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. When were the chickens roasted? Two days ago. That's the last of them. Why do we roast them two days in advance? They're delivered twice a week. They're cooked off the delivery day. What kind of impression do you think you're sending out to your customers when that chicken's roasted two days before they come. I, 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 I... When do you think this chicken was roasted? You oh my it. goodness, I hope it was today. It was roasted two and a half days ago. I am not happy to hear that at all. That was going to be dry as a dog's bone. Yeah. But anyway, uh, try to enjoy. OK, thanks so much. I don't feel well anymore. Thank you, I was dry. <laughs> They've been coming for 12 years. You need to just seriously just focus on getting this night done. And they sit there all schmuck. I want to kick them out right now. Do you want us to take the food back? I mean, this is like so disappointing that you guys feel this way. I thought we were friends, and I, I thought you would have maybe told us if you felt the food sucked that much. You know, it's really, gosh, I feel, well, I feel like I want to pass out right now. Fucking hell. Um, so the lady you were just talking to over there <laughs> had no idea her chicken was roasted two and a half days ago. It was roasted two and a half days ago? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, okay, fine. I mean, it's no. not my business with him no, in the I'm kitchen. No, I'm just, I'm just, God, you two are like so defensive. There's a thousand different ways to make spets. I'd like and, to do with that. I'm talking and, about the chicken. You know, I mean, I'd, I'd love to find out the problem. Chicken, way. I'm talking to you about the chicken. Well, we Making an excuse again. Nothing, nothing resonates with you, does it? Nothing. It does, certainly honey, does. It Absolutely, does. it all does. What in the hell? I just wanted to keep it together tonight. That's all. 
Uh, crazy. Are you like manic or something? I'm manic. Yes, I am right now. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Uh, something between shitty and awful. What does it mean when you feel like an elephant sitting in your chest? Oh, you don't have a heart. You can't have a heart attack. Are you hungry, Gordon? What is this? That is bacon. Should be on a different shelf. And this here? That shouldn't be thrown there either. What's that? Beer batter for the beer batter shrimp. It should be thrown out. And this one? Let me just stand that on top. Sure, put it right on top. What is all this? That was bacon. Oh, no, no, no. Well, that's OK. No, why is it in your fridge like this? I dropped it one shelf below. Instead of putting where it belonged, I put it on the corner. Normally, these things are pretty orderly. This is a complete clusterfuck. And what's that? Corned beef. Let's, let's, get, let's get outside. Sure. Let's, let's get outside. What is going on? The whole operation is screwed. The kitchen, shocking. The line, disaster. Cross-contaminated. Raw meat, cooked different, meat. Different foods, absolutely. Shit everywhere. And then the biggest asset, where all the money is, is downstairs in the wine cellar. Who's maintaining standards here? He is. I cannot believe what you've just done in there. I really enjoy it. You can't enjoy I that. I swear to God, I do. That's... I, I must be, like, cuckoo in the head or well, something. Well, you need help. Maybe. He does. You need to wake up. I think we can do this. I know we can do this. Yeah, but not just you and you. No. I want it to be you and I, because you so don't listen to me most of the time. Like when I tell you, yeah. it's time to come home, Jonathan. It's yeah. time to fucking come to bed. And you just say, fuck you. No, you know, fuck you now. Fuck you, Jonathan. Oh, yeah. I love you so much, and you're such a great guy, but you suck as a business partner. You really suck. Thanks. Do you want to recreate this? Do you want to? Get clean, divorced. Clean. I don't want to get divorced. Do you want to get divorced? divorced? No, I don't want to get divorced. Why has it always been your way? I guess I've asked Because you for know more I, than I, me. I, apparently, I don't. I'm as stupid as you think I am, if not worse. <sighs> Thank God. Let's go in the back door. <sighs> Fucking me. OK, give me a drink. I couldn't get this down fast enough. That looks pretty good. All right. Have a nice day. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Thanks for being on the other side. We appreciate it. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> that bourbon was really strong. <coughs> Crap. Crying again? No, it's not really crying. It's just releasing. Release it. Lisa, can I have you and him together, please? Sure. Mm. I'm unconvinced, and I've never met a couple so undeserving of my time. And I think you, Lisa, you're just faking it. I'm just trying to no, you trying just... to get through the night tonight. No, you're acting. The crocodile tears are there. Next minute is a laugh. It's self-preservation, and it's the only way for me to get through the day. There's no heart. There's no feeling. There's a lot of heart. No, there's not. No, I no. love what I do. No. And what do you love? Drinking with your friends? I don't do much drinking. I'm not the party girl. He's the party boy. So there's no parties way on after service downstairs in the basement with the customers? Not in the past, like, 10 years. Jonathan, you've lost interest. I'm a mess. Yeah, you are. So the first thing I want you both to do is to pack a bag. I want you to get out of here. Start packing. After sending Lisa and Jonathan away for the night, I'm hoping they can start to realize the effects they are having on the Vienna. But before they return, I called a staff meeting. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I can get a better understanding of the damage that Lisa and Jonathan are doing. Um, I didn't get a chance to meet you yesterday, yesterday. I'm um, Jamie. Do the housekeeping here. OK, great. Let's get one thing right. I'm here to help. Having done my research, I mean, the one positive feedback I've had it's about how good the staff are, because I know, you know, just how bad things are, and having witnessed that service last night, uh, I'm appalled. 
Is it always like that? Yeah. Yes. yes. Screaming? Yes. yes. People at each can other? hear them yes. in the dining room. I've had tables that have asked um, if everything was okay in the kitchen. We can't be expected to be professional all the time when they're not professional. After our shift, they'll, they'll sit down with the table and expect us to wait on them, hand them drinks until midnight. If we leave, they get upset. So guests stay here and they're drinking downstairs in front of those guests, sometimes with the guests. Yeah. See, there's no separation between business right. yeah, and personal. When you're sitting here entertaining your table, she'll find something wrong that you're doing and she'll come and point it out and at you right you in front of your table. Of table. Yeah. She's just rude. She texts me sometimes really rude text messages like, oh, you forgot this or you forgot that or why didn't you do this and why wasn't this done? It's crazy. Another problem that we really have been having is we don't have an actual payroll system. There's no payroll system. And then they'll say, yeah, I'll get you one. And you just never... Asking for your salary. We have yeah, to ask for our checks. Yeah, I got, I got 20 bucks right now. That's all I got right now. Yeah. Yep. Tomorrow morning, I'll see you. They're drip feeding your salaries. My bank does not take the checks. Neither does mine. When was the last time you had a staff meeting and discussed this? Never. Never. No. Uh, I'm sorry, but I want to put an end to all this. Here's what we're going to do. Um, they're arriving any minute now. And my message to them is if they're not prepared to bring in a level of professionalism and understand those boundaries need to be met on a daily basis, they're going to lose the in and they're going to lose you. Let me go and get them. I let myself continue to be abused. They need to know that it has to change and it can't just be brushed off anymore. Uh, I had a chat with the team. They're not in a good place and you've abused them. There are no boundaries. They're your staff, and they need to be treated a certain way. Let's go to Jamie first. I'm really concerned about the abusive texts you send him. Why would you send him an abusive text? It's like, text? oh, you would send me a picture, like, oh, you forgot this, or you didn't do this right, you or this. You told me that you worked at a lot of other places and you knew how to clean. I, and I, then I, the toilets aren't cleaned and stuff. It's really important. But some of that stuff doesn't work. So it's like I'm sitting there scrubbing and nothing's coming up. And you'll be like, well, go do it again. And it's like, I'm trying, I'm trying to do what I can. None of these talented individuals get paid on time. I want to know why they don't get paid on time. Because I don't have a payroll system in place right now. Well, that's a fucking disgrace. That is disgusting. And then you want them waiting on you up until all hours of the early morning while they tidy up after your crap, and then you can't even be bothered to pay them on time. It's a, it's a mess. No, you are a mess. I need to say something, though, that almost every single person here, we've given them loans. You're lending them money to buy uniforms to work in your goddamn business. Right? That's absurd. Why? Why? Absurd to pay for a uniform? The business should be providing the uniform. Well, maybe we need to do that. Yes, you I do. I never thought about it that way. Whose business is this? I've tried to create here a place where people can come and, and, and relax and escape from their stressful lives. Escape from their stressful lives yeah. to hear you and Lisa scream at each other. Are you fucking kidding me? We don't always scream at each other, but well, when I, we do, I'm... That's what maybe I'm... I that's the smallest that, that's places. What we, you live here, so you've got no idea how many times you do it. The love, affection, and respect that they've shown you is extraordinary. And the sad news is, you both don't deserve it. I'm sorry. I will change. I just hope you, you guys want to continue. I just want to say thank you for your... Honesty, uh, loyalty. Uh, there's some other important people I want to introduce you to this morning. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so, Lisa and Jonathan, uh, I've asked uh, some ex customers, uh, locals, to come and give you some feedback. Has anybody stayed there recently? We did. The room we stayed in, it had tools and screws and Light instruction bulbs. manuals. Wow. So it's not just For the air conditioners me. and stuff, yeah. That's right, you're right. Madam, give us an insight to your experience, please. I do have to say, my husband ordered uh, scallops and they were raw. We returned them. 
The decor was very outdated and it feels very cluttered. You feel like you're locked in a closet. It's just overwhelming when you're trying to have a nice dinner. I would never come back there if things don't change. Okay. What do you guys think about the uniforms? It's a bit the much. The poor ladies were kind of revealing. Our server was the nicest person, mm -hmm. but I think it takes a lot away from them. No, it doesn't need to be in your yes. face. The reputation locally is crucial. What have you guys heard? I've heard that's a swingers hangout. I heard that as well. When I had mentioned the Vienna, they said that's where the swingers go. You eat downstairs and then you go upstairs, is what I was told. But you've heard this before. I've, we've, I've, we've heard, heard it, it for, street, we've heard it for 13 years. Yeah. But is this due to your late night drinking and the party? I don't think so. Fact or not, that's how yeah, you see it's just, it. You know, that's, you're you're uh, living there. Portrayed. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is that there are no boundaries. It's an oasis down there that has got a jacuzzi, a massage table. And if the word has gotten out around town, and then you're People being... misunderstood that room, and that's where it all started. I'm just saying it. Either a business, or it's your home. There's no, there's no crossover. The mixed messages you're sending yeah. is your own fault. Because mm -hmm. you haven't been clear. I used to come to the restaurant probably every month or so. And I can tell you have a lot of like passion for your heritage, but it's not in the food anymore. If Gordon can help you take your heritage and the food and modernize it and you can progress with that, I'll come every Friday. Mark my words, it's a promise. Do you have anything to say, both of you, to these guests? Thank, thank, you. thank you so much for your honesty and input and uh, really, really appreciate it. We're gonna be making some big changes to uh, address many of the things you talked about. The staff have been incredibly loyal. They haven't been treated the way they should have been treated. I'm undecided about these two, but I am committed to that team because I see what is at stake and the jeopardy they face going forward. Now, I've got some, something else important to sort out. After leaving Jonathan and Lisa, I moved forward with my plans to help renovate the inn. I brought in Somalia Dave Foss to create a beverage program. If you just have a look in here, I mean... That one's fantastic. ...from the excessive infantry they weren't using. Oh, three. Oh, that's delicious. My team worked up to the last minute, transforming the many spaces at the Vienna. Wow. Oh. Wow, that is amazing. Holy smokes. This is beautiful. This is incredible. Bravo. The Vienna had no organization for managing their day-to-day -day operations. So I gave them the state-of-the-art system to help with all their hotel operational needs. Welcome to the Web Res Pro system. And this will help transform your business. It will link up to the POS system and it will give you data like you've never had before. Fabulous. You need to be organized from the infantry to the wage costs, to the salaries, to the POS systems, to the checking in and the checking out system. And the good news, guests can now book online. So this should relieve a huge headache. I could see that everyone was thrilled with the changes at the Vienna. Good, have a good look round. But as I watched Lisa. Where's this stuff from? I noticed she was dissatisfied with the renovations. These are different chairs from the other ones, aren't they? No? I was just seeing if it was 100% cotton. It is. is that a pullout? No, it doesn't need to be a pullout. And right now, I'm worried where Lisa's head is going into relaunch this evening. Good evening. I can help you with your bags. First, let's get you checked in. While it was time to relaunch the inn and restaurant, Yep, we have an order. I provided the staff with brand new uniforms that go with the new updated menu that includes wine pairing and beer flights. First is going to be the grapefruit, then the second is going to be the pilsner. These are up here. Please get out of here, Lisa. Off the line. Actually, let's turn this lamp on. No light bulb. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Excuse me, Amy. Uh, no light bulb in there. I just wanted to remind you. Don't worry on. about it. Okay. What, who's complaining about the light bulb? Oh, just making sure that they have enough light. Look, look. I was trying to turn it on and realized it later. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's focus on the big things. Are you always like this over little details like that? I like to have things feel right, and so <laughs> I'm feeling extra, like an extra need to make sure everything's right. That's all. OTT. Just a plusser. OTT. Probably. Whatever that means. Over the top. Huh? Over the top. Well, I guess I don't have to be so over the top now, do I? You do not. Yes. What is wrong with her tonight? Do you think she's going to go back to her old ways when I leave? She might accidentally. Customer's coming. Welcome. While Lisa is nitpicking everything unnecessarily. Do you guys have the appetizer for table five? Oh, sorry. We didn't give you that yet? No, you no, didn't. Table five sausage. No? No. Jonathan oh, fuck. is lost in the kitchen and service is starting to suffer. What table number is this, please? That is table number 11, and waiting on two flank steaks with it. Oh, where's the flank steak? Are they coming? Uh, moments. Moments, uh, minutes. Who's cooking the flank steak? Come on, guys, we can do one four top at the same time, yes? Yes. I designed the menu around the size of the kitchen and the speed of both you working together. Yep. OK? Wow. Come back for the flank. What the hell is this? Look at me, both yes. of you. Both of you. Cut the shit. OK, look at me. You're more capable of doing four fucking main courses at the same time, especially when there's two of you. And one of those main courses is the same dish. We've got to talk to each other, but I'm not going to start sending one dish at a time from four top. Serious? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Jonathan, but look I mean, at me, hey, yes. look at me. I need some fucking effort from you a little bit. I need a little bit of respect and a little bit of effort from you, OK? Yeah, yeah? and look at me. You're yeah. the man holding this fucking thing together. You got it. And if you go down, the whole fucking place is going to go down. I need you to step up, OK? I need you to talk a little bit, and I want four main courses at the same fucking time. And, Jonathan, yes. you can get your mind set around four main courses at the same fucking time. Understand, we're serving one table at a time, and we're going to complete that table. Yes. Four main courses, three main courses, five main courses, we're going to talk together. Yes. Sausage okay. goes with what, the two soups? Yes. What's coming next? It's going to be uh, sausage, two carrot soups, and a fried cheese. Good. For table seven. OK, so we're talking now. Yep. Good. Carrot. Thank you very much. We have your flank steaks. Your wine is coming right away, OK? Your sausage. You guys are all sharing, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think the new Vienna will definitely attract a younger crowd. Oh, my god. So beautiful. I'm super excited about the new changes, and I hope they'll last. I, do, I really do. Uh, right, we've had ups and downs, but tonight is a prime example of how good and how profitable this business can be. Customers loving the food, they love the decor. I'm leaving you with all the tools to get this place back to right, where you wanted to go. I do want to ask you one thing. Sure. Is there anything that's happened this week that you're not happy with? Yes, I had expected the Blumenzimmer to be done, not the Koenig, but I was, it was the room I didn't expect. At, at... And the room that we've done, is amazing. It still has problems. Can I just tell you something really important? This is not a makeover show. I know that. Yeah. But you're complaining about... I, I wasn't saying I didn't love that room. I... It'd be a great shame for you to sound ungrateful. Oh, I'm not ungrateful. I am just no. so From shocked. Definitely don't want the to new just... management system you. to Dave. Uh, you've got no I'm idea what's going on. I'm coming across wrong if you think that I'm uh, being ungrateful, because I'm really uh, not. Um, I, I it really... sounds like that. No. Not at all. I can't come in and wave a magic wand and transform 15 bedrooms and put a brand new kitchen. You now know what needs to happen. I do. But I need to tell you something that you're not going to like. I arranged for a new stove. You did? To come. And then when I got the engineer to come and survey the place, yeah. uh, unfortunately, he had to leave. Yeah. Because he was going to shut the place down. Because there's practices that are taking place in there that aren't appropriate. You're saying the gas okay. systems or the, the whole setup underneath yeah. there. Nothing's been changed in 13 years. Yeah. And it's on the verge of yeah. running legally. Okay. Mm -hmm. Listen, I came here to help, but you need to help yourselves and Absolutely. you need to dig deep and stick together. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. Thank you, Gordon. Okay. Good night. Thank you. I'll feed his Safe traveling. Man, that's hard work. Soon after I left, 
Lisa and Jonathan reverted to the old Vienna. This is something that belongs here. That came with the house. What are you doing? You're insane. By changing the decor and bringing back the original menu. It's worse than it was. It looks horrible. They chose not to take my advice about running the inn properly. You'll listen to me about what should be going on in the kitchen. And as a result, their reputation in town remains the same. I'm in the beautiful lakeside town of Chelan, Washington to help a husband and wife repair their bad reputation. They have built walls around themselves. They are absolutely no part of this community. They don't know the difference between right and wrong. There's no such thing as a fresh burger. What? And they are so stubborn. You don't even know the fucking story. It'll be a challenge to get through to them. All you've done since I've arrived here is lied to me. And I totally fucking disagree with that. Chelan, Washington, surrounded by the gorgeous Cascade Mountains, situated on Lake Chelan. This small town is home to the Lakeview Hotel and BC McDonald's restaurant. Owners Brent and Anthony McDonald have been in business here for over 15 years. We bought the hotel in 2000. We came into town and, and a lot of the locals, they really didn't want to see us make it. They figured they won't be here long. Well, I let them know that we are going nowhere. You're stuck with us. The Lakeview Hotel is adults only. We think that it's the nicest hotel probably in the state of Washington. We have a great place here, BC McDonald Lakeview Hotel, but business is really slow. We're losing probably 30,000 a month. Easy. The financial situation here at the hotel and the restaurant, it is tough. And this year it's extremely tough because we had wildfires in the area. And quite honestly, that's what kind of has broke the bank. The majority of the reason why there's no consistent business here is Brent and Afni's reputation. And I'm talking. I am talking. Customers come in and she said, you hurry up, you go sit down. I training, you sit down, we'll be with you a minute. I'm the best employer in town. I think I'm easy to work with. Just be quiet, will you please? You know, I don't know why people don't like to be here. If you want to keep money flowing through, the locals need to like you. And, you know, if you have a bad attitude towards the locals or other customers, they're not going to come back. Get out there and do a little dance. Come on. I know you used to pole dance. Get your ass out there. I definitely get very embarrassed by some of the things he says. Well, yeah. I hope you got a lot of energy tonight, because, oh, no. baby, this is this is no, Friday no. night. Friday night. People are coming to a nice restaurant. They don't want to hear dirty jokes and cussing and everything like that. Brent does not like to be told anything. You can tell him the sky's blue, and he's it's going to upset him. I think that people are lucky to work for us. I think I got a great management style. Chelan is, is a beautiful town. The opportunity is there. Um, we just get overlooked because of Brent and Anthony's reputation. All of our money that we have made in the last 30 years has been sunk into this business, and we have so much invested, we cannot stop, because otherwise we're, we're done. Could be. Okay. So. That's him. I did say Valley Park, right? Yeah, it's not my eyesight. Maybe he thinks he has the wrong place. Wait. Valley Park is not. Oh, wow. Oh, baby. The best breakfast, lunch, and dinner in town. Come on Hello. in. Come on in. How are you both? Good afternoon, Good. Chef wow. Ramsey. What a gorgeous drive that was. Oh, thank you. Uh, how are you? Oh, I always ladies first. Yeah, I, know, I, uh, well, I totally understand that. Nice to, to meet you. you. Yeah. Um, are we uh, the valet parking on strike? 
It is, this time of year. So it's temporary ballet parking. And uh, what do I do in my car? Because you kept the sign there. I, I'll park it for you. How about that? Wow. When's the last time we dusted in here? It's a bit dusty in there. What's that there? Something is growing up there. Yeah. Can you see that, or is it me? Can I, you see I, that from I, there? I can see it. Wow. Yeah, it's right there. We missed I know you're one. both wearing glasses. I just want to make sure you can see it. <laughs> it's wow. Not, it's not real easy to see for me. How'd you get that down? Well, usually well, we, have we a, use we have that a long pole, long duster. Pole. And where is yeah. the pole? It's, it's right in the uh, back here. I'll be right back. Wow. Well, now you've made everything dusty down here. I've made it dusty. No, you haven't cleaned it. Yeah. Supposing that falls on a customer's head, what would you do? I don't, I don't think that it will, actually. Oh, you don't think it will? No. Oh, it's been oh, up there for about six no. months. It seems to oh, so be growing, it. actually. That is disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Brett, shame on you. I know it. Wow. And what's in here? More dust over here, Brett. Look. Is there more? You must have missed that spot, too. There's a big, long, creepy yes, crawler hanging yes, down I, there. Yes, I see that. Wow. We've been closed for the last three right. weeks. When it's so slow this time of the year, we go on a holiday. And when you close, do you normally clean before you close? Or do you come back dirty? Uh, come back uh, the way it is and... Wow. Look at that up there. We're, we're living in a very uh, dusty environment here. That's bullshit. Yeah, okay. Uh, come on, seriously? This is mountain, clean air. Well, that, 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 that's all true, yes. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There we go. Thank you for that. No problem. I, I didn't expect to clean as I checked yeah. in. I know, oh my god, there you go. They are gross, right? Don't mess it up too much, it's all gonna come down. Well, how long are you thinking of keeping it up there? Oh, shit. We might as well do them all while we're at it. We might as well do them all. Yeah. It's not funny. I've got to get this thing out here. Holy shit, look at that. Jeez. God damn it, Daphne. Well, Why I'm didn't you fine. get to that? And how long have you owned this place? 15. 15 years? 15 years. Was you that just... the last time it was cleaned? It was clean, you just good. Oh, I was... You've got, a, you've got a great eye, yeah, I can I tell you that. Missed. I've done lots of things on arrival, but I've never quite cleaned shit like that from a ceiling. Yeah. Can I give that back yeah, to you? Yeah, I'll do that, OK? Right. Yeah, thank you. Um, what's going on here? On the front door, you've got 40 flavors. Yes. Sino samples. Yes. When we're really, really busy, we have a line that goes out the door. Yeah, and stop talking and about And if this, one person asks for uh, a sample, they will all ask for a sample. And how do you think all those yogurt franchises entice business? They offer samples. So they speculate to accumulate. Sorry, no samples. Sorry, no samples. Who comes up with all these stupid rules? Probably myself. Man, you like kicking the crap out of the locals, don't you? Yes. So I you take it we're not going to get... Oh, there's another one. Yes. There's me thinking that's a flavour. So how long ago did this close? Oh, my God, look how dusty it, that it, is. It's not closed. This is not closed? No, it's not. Stop. It is not. It looks like it's... Oh, no. Bloody hell. Where's the stick gone? Please. Oh, my God. This is monstrous. This is like a cobweb on steroids. Where's the stick gone? She's getting it. So why did you close for three weeks? Uh, I went on a holiday. Wow. And where did you go? Mexico. Wow. Did you enjoy Mexico? Yeah. You we did? really en we enjoyed being uh, together. She only came for a week. She gives me what, what uh, you mean? a week oh, by myself. Say, say, say that again? You go on holiday on your own? I do. Rest for a week, and yeah. your wife comes for the second uh, week? My wife and daughter meet me for the second week. Would you not like to go for two weeks holiday? I, well, I would love to if I have a chance. Oh, I see. Right. Um, I just want yep. to get yep. this thing down here. Have you seen the size of this one? Yep. Holy crap. Is that a keeper? That. Look at that. This is above a nice cream exactly. parlor. If we turn that on, it's going to spin mm. dust. Well, hopefully it won't. Well, oh, we... Look at that. Yeah, that is on. Look at now. What? I, I think you're doing awesome, actually. I, I think that we should yeah. possibly hire him, really, you know? I'm glad that I'm hired to clean. Yeah, this. Wow. Do I have to take this to my room? It may be a good idea. Are you serious? No. Let's go. No dust, right? Oh, shit. Whilst I'm up here, look. Oh, come on. No, but look at these ones here on the top we'll, of that. We'll, we'll get it. Oh, now you'll get it. Well, it's obvious that you haven't done it before. Well, Let's go. you know. How many rooms do you have here? Twelve. Twelve. Wow. This room probably isn't for you, but we're going to give it to you anyway. What do you mean by that? It's for people that haven't been laid for a while, quite honestly. 
Say that again, sorry? People that haven't been laid. 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 As in... As in... What's that got to do with me checking into this room? Wow. And this is a room for those who haven't been laid recently. You don't talk like that to guests. Well, this is an awesome room. It offers the best view that we have right. of the river part of Lake Chelan. Wow, wow. It has a stacked stone fireplace, awesome ceiling. I think they're 15 feet. And uh, That's an awesome dusty ceiling. See those beams? I can see, yeah, I see that a little bit. Wow, man, what is it with dust around here? Well, as I said, we're in a dusty area. Apart from the dust, the rooms are gorgeous. Yes. These are the air conditioning uh, units. Where's that? So you don't have that funky thing down here, that cries motel. I thought that was TV. No, it's uh, air conditioning. It's both, we program it for both AC or Right, so uh, where do I adjust the temperature? Uh, you don't. They're preset. It's set at 68 degrees. Wow. Why is it set like that? I keep the remote controls because yes. I absolutely know that they will get screwed up if I leave them up here in the room. You don't give samples, you don't let me keep the remotes, and you don't let me bring the temperature up or down. It's not really the get laid room, is it? Uh, that's up to you. Wow, but you're, you're setting the bar. You're, you're right. telling me what I can and what I can't do. Weird, very weird. Look how dusty this is as well. How do I open that up? So you got all these fancy Would you, would you like me to open it? Yes, please. Thank you. Wow. When was the last time they were cleaned? That gets cleaned about twice a year. Ugh. Uh, would you mind if I just make it three times this year? Yeah, I think that sounds great, actually. OK. So the air conditioning unit you control, they have to breathe in this shit at night. Are you bullshitting me? No, I'm not shitting you. Right. Can you... Um, I will take that. Do you mind? Yeah. I, I've got no interest in breathing yeah. your uh, dust. OK, I'm going to unpack and I'll be down in five minutes. OK. Please. Right. Wow. Whew. Honestly, look at that. It's terrible. Disgusting. Hello. Hi. Man, um, the dust when I walked in. What the hell was going That's on there? Bizarre. How long have you been here? A month. So you're a new kid on the block? I am, yes. Wow. <laughs> Do they go through a lot of stuff? I think so. There is some that have been here for years, but actually wow. the ones that were here, the cooks, they have recently yeah. left and... I mean, how would you describe them as bosses? Um, different than any I've ever had. Yeah, I'll say. Anyway, let's order. Um, obviously I was going to have a glass of wine, hoping to get sure. something local, having just driven through those amazing vineyards, but there's nothing local here. <laughs> no. I mean, New Zealand, Sauvignon Blanc. How weird. Uh, what would you recommend for lunch? What's the soup today? The soup is a minestrone. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, BC's bacon burger. Yeah? Okay. Let's do a, a pizza as well, the oh, homemade, right? Oh, sorry, actually, we don't do the pizzas any longer. I don't know why the page is not taken out. Wow, OK. Uh, anything else that's not on? We are out of the pork stir fry, and we do not have chili. Uh, no chili. Wow. Let's do a prime rib as well with that, shall we? Um, I believe we're out of prime rib. Oh, we're out, we're out of a lot I of things. I believe so, yeah. The um, turkey ciabatta dip is... Usually a good one. Let's let's do a turkey dip. Okay. Um, hold on a minute. Breaking news. BC soon to be famous teriyaki steak. What the fuck does that mean? When someone says soon to be famous, who writes this shit on the menu? <laughs> soon to be famous. Why would that be on the menu? I think we should try it. Let's go. Um, I think we're done. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Babe. Okay. Do you need help? Minister any soup, right? Correct. Excellent. Wow, that doesn't even taste homemade. It's frozen. It's frozen. Yes. Frozen minestrone soup. Yeah. Okay. This is terrible. We've got the BC bacon burger. Wow. Jeez. Look how thin that is. My onion ring's thicker than my pate. <laughs> huh? Where are they from? I, I'll find out that answer. On the hamburgers, it says on the menu, certified Angus beef. Where do we get that? Are they fresh or frozen? No, we, we always come back that's frozen. 12 95 Let's have it cooked. And the, the, the pate is bland. It actually tastes frozen. But please tell it, us. It, it does come frozen. So it says fresh, and it's not anywhere near. 
Thirteen dollars for that. Oh, it's brutal. Oh, the food coming out is very good. This is the um, turkey milk. Thank, Thank you. you. And what's this here? That is the broth for the turkey. The bed. broth. Mm -hmm. If you want to dip your sandwich in it. Holy <laughs> shit! What is that in there? Just have a little sip. Wow. So salty. Yes, it does. So bad. It's salty and bitter. Jesus. You want to taste this, actually. He had me taste it. Oh, yeah, it's really salty. Really salty? Yeah. Holy shit. This <coughs> here is the teriyaki chicken burger. The nearly famous burger. Oh, fuck. What is that? Mm. What's he doused it in? Teriyaki over cheese. Oh. Nearly famous. Because it's bad to be famous to send me to the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even going to go there. Nope. Okay. I'll just have a coffee. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Right. Let's get reviewing. Wow. Headline, do not go here. If you want mediocre, overpriced food, this is the place for you. Unfortunately, not my dig. Bloody hell. Wow. Well, this is terrible. Okay. This is terrible. Oh, it's awful. I mean, look at the headlines. What an odd place. The owner badmouthed another local place at our table. Do not go here. Run, 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 far away. Horrible service, terrible food, and stupid expensive. The owners are jerks who are rude and don't support their staff. They don't welcome kids. No wonder this place is empty. Is that bad? It is. It's very awkward. You know, Afni says they don't listen to this. These are customers. They're all right. negative. And psst, FYI, no samples allowed. That's right. It's a tight bastard. Yeah. Is he really stingy? Absolutely. Is he? Yeah. And the lack of, you know, children or... And they do have a um, teenage daughter. So they have a teenage daughter, but they don't welcome kids. Yes. He goes on holiday for a week on his own, suns himself, gets nice and bronzed, then she joins him for the second week. But he wants a week on his own. Oh. It's just like, wow. what are you talking about? I had not heard that. Yeah. What a creep. Yeah. If I did that to my wife, she'd kick me in the nuts. Yes. <laughs> I'm at a loss. This place is depressing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to um, get the owners down here. Let's just have a little debrief, shall we? OK. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Jesus Christ. Do you want us? He does. Yeah. Let's go. It's OK. Take everything it's fine serious. With me. Don't say anything. No. Make, like, fun. So no, no. You think that is not fun? Stop it. OK. I'm at a loss. The biggest kick in the balls for me is that on the menu it states homemade, fresh, daily changing, soup of the day. Your soup of the day, mm -hmm. Brent, is frozen. Can you make minestrone soup? Yes. How much does it cost to make a litre? Uh, a couple bucks. Tell the owner. And you have the nearly famous burger. I'd like to congratulate you because it's now famous as the most disgusting bit of shit between a bun I've ever seen. You have a slice of red onion that's thicker than your pate. It was frozen, and you're charging $13.95 for it. I don't know how low we can go. The list, everything's from New Zealand. There's not even a local wine on here. Well... Give it to me, then. Well, I'll give it to you. Most of these wineries all opened up restaurants. There, there are competitors. So you can't support the local vineyards? Yeah. Well... I came in here to help. I'm laughed at, lied to, and fed frozen food. And as an owner, you too can't be that gone. Otherwise, I'm gonna go. Right before dinner, I had a chance to catch up with Teddy, the manager, so I could understand his perspective of what Afni and Brent are like as owners. Inappropriate things are commonly said. His personality has a lot to do with it. It's you know really common that he'll make you feel that this is the best place and you're lucky to be here. Their behavior as bosses is unacceptable. Wow, wow, wow. Clearly in denial. I appreciate the insight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in there, yes? Definitely. And I want to observe what they're like during an evening at the Lakeview. So you have a key to the room. But let's hope that it's ready. A couple things that we're not offering. Um, no Chilean sea bass, no pizza. So No pizza? No pizza, no sea bass. 
I'm very disappointed. Fuck you know. Frozen, frozen, frozen. Wow, not even wrapped. Where are the burgers? I mean, it just doesn't look anything like a burger. And when it's processed like that and stamped and pressed, you can just tell. Right. Frozen food. Wow. Brett, come with me. Yeah. How's the fettuccine? It's OK. Not the best. Damn, I'm sorry. Um, burgers. Mm -hmm. A burger cooked here locally, would you expect that to be frozen or fresh? The burger is not frozen. It's the, it, the patties and everything come in frozen and they're thawed out. Is that like most oh, people do? You thawed it out. So it's not the frozen beef. then? It comes in frozen. Yeah. You thaw it out and that to the, your customers is not a frozen burger? Well. Um, stay there, let me just show you, you something. You... I'm waiting for him to come back. He's going to ream me on something. Oh, boy, here we go. Mm -hmm. So there's your burgers. It's a frozen. Thank you. Now, your husband said it wasn't. No, what do you mean? No, it's, it's, it's frozen. Of course, I, I never said that it wasn't. It, we thaw it out here. Yeah. It comes in frozen. Yeah. It's still a frozen burger. There's no such thing as a fresh burger, at least, at least here in eastern Washington. We, we cannot get fresh. There's no fresh. You find me the burger. Come with me. Yeah. Good evening. Welcome. Please come in out of the cold. Are you joining dinner? Us dinner? Yes. Quick question. Do you love a burger? Yeah, I love a burger. Madam? Yes. Would you expect them to be made fresh here or frozen? Fresh. Fresh. Are you going to tell them or should I tell them? Fresh all the way. No, should we tell them the truth? I mean, that's what we want to well, do. Well, we, we sell uh, our, our burgers come in frozen and we thaw them out. But thawing them out doesn't make them fresh. fresh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for coming, you guys. Welcome, ladies. Hey, folks. How are you? Quick question. Coming out for dinner, would you expect a frozen burger to be served here tonight or a fresh one? Fresh. Fresh. Are you going to tell them or should I tell them? I'll let you tell them. Oh, come on. You own the place. Stop. Well, we all of our beef that we get in, burgers, it comes in frozen. Okay. Our burgers, and we, and we thaw them out. Which, in his mind, convinces him it's fresh. Oh. Does that make it sound any better? No. Thank you. All right, thank you. We're still thank glad you. to have you. Thank, thank you. You, you, you bet. Oh, my God. After Brent tried to convince me that there were no fresh burgers in town... Hmm? I almost cry. It's OK. You did good, huh? I'm proud of you. I walked directly across the street and ordered one. So that's the lamb burger. Nice to see you. Coming to a restaurant like this, would you expect your burgers to be fresh or frozen? Fresh. Burgers come in frozen, and we thaw them out. That's the story. Thank you. So, that is a lamb burger. Fresh. I'm getting sick to death of this denial, denial, denial. You've been making up bullshit oh, all fucking bullshit. day. Yes, 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 you have. No. All your staff have the same thing to say. Passive aggressive, condescending, inappropriate, and stubborn. No, absolutely not. The staff, the way you treat them. What? There no, you go no, again. Yeah. Denial, oh, denial, no, denial. No, no, no. You're just scared about employing a team that's going to tell you the truth. That is bullshit. That is not. Because you don't like them confronting no. you with the truth. Yes. You'll fire them. No, I haven't fired and then anybody. I heard that you fired your son. Oh shit. You don't even know the fucking story. He was having some issues, Gordon, and I told I him... I was aware of the he, alcohol problem. He, I was aware right, of that. Right. I was trying to save his life. Yeah. My brother's a drug addict. We put him in rehab seven times, unsuccessfully. I don't give up on him. Yeah. But what I'm more concerned about is that nothing's affecting you. It's like we're doing great. And, and generally, the place runs quite well. Yeah. Oh, my God. Come with me. Just yeah, you and I. Is this a joke for you? Can you no. use two minutes, please? No. Is this, are you fucking around? No, I'm not fucking around. Are you trying to pull the wool out of my eyes? Oh, hell no. You know the business is dwindling. So you've got all these rules, no fucking samples, no fucking kids. This place is thriving with families. We really don't want to have crying kids here. I just, I just would like to have a uh, quiet getaway for, for our honeymooners and, and uh, birthdays and anniversaries. A honeymoon? Venture, they come down to a romantic dinner and eat a frozen burger. Come on. This place is hemorrhaging money because you're caught in a web. Delusional, stubborn, old-fashioned, and fucking pompous. 
Anything else? It's just a joke for you, isn't it? No, I just, next time I'm gonna know to do a little dusting. Wow, a little dusting. Fuck me, how deluded. During dinner service, I decided to do some investigating in the rooms. Dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. And after what I found, I gathered the hotel guests along with Afni and Brent. Hey, guys, come through, please. Um, just very quickly. Glasses on. There we are. Come through. If you can just stand over here. Pillow left-hand side, pillow number one. Mm. Can you see that? I can't see a darn thing. You can't see. Maybe Afni? Yeah. Explain to Brent what this is. Uh, spot. I don't know. Spot. You yeah. don't know? Yeah, spot. Maybe this one will be a little bit clearer. Blood. Yeah, there we go, honey. Well, that's disgusting. Right. Afni? Yes? Brent can't see anything. I, 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 uh, go ahead, where? I, well, I see that, of course. Okay. I see that one, yeah. This is the worrying bit. Mm -hmm. These are the duvets that have been on these beds. That was just washed Absolute. one week ago. Absolute. Every single one of them. Absolute rubbish. And look at this! I mean, these customers, the, they're the ones you're taking the money from. Don't you dare tell me that was washed a week ago. Don't you dare. One week ago, I have Stop. the bills. We you have cannot be serious. We are serious. It was done, and that's that's it. We're not going to say that it wasn't done. Right. I but got... that is not clean. Oh, I that's bullshit. Clean. It was yeah, just it's done. Yeah, it's bullshit. And this, go on. Oh. I see that. But one week ago, that was cleaned. I'm done with this bullshit. This is from years. Just stop. It we did 13 of them one lying. week ago. And they're not cleaning them properly. Stop just for once today. Fucking lying. And look at this. I mean, that is not clean. That was just washed one week ago. Stop just for once today. Lying. Let's just stay there two seconds. What the fuck? Did you have any idea you're sleeping in that? No, not at all. I wish you can't I see that. I don't want to sleep in that. Brent? I... I, I see that. I want an explanation. Because all you've done since I've arrived here is lied to me. Lied to me, lied to your staff, and I am not gonna allow you to lie to the customers. And I totally fucking disagree with that too. I have not said one lie to you. Yes, I'm you not gonna go for have. that. Yes, you have. No, I You've been that fucking is lying to bullshit. Me all day. It's not true. You convinced that thought food is fresh food. You're robbing them of their cash. You're telling me this was cleaned a week ago. Let me ask you a question in front of your customers. Would you sleep on that? No. So why do you expect them to? Would you sleep on that? No. Not an apology? Nothing. I'd like to apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm appalled. I'm disgusted. I've had enough. Anything you'd like to say? The pillow's like this. I apologize. Can I have a word with him on my own? Would you mind? These guests are hours away from putting their heads on your pillows. Blood-stained pillows. Semen-stained duvet covers. And sweat accumulated over years. I, I can see that, Gordon. I am struggling. I'm struggling with your husband that's in denial. I'm struggling with these arrogance. And I'm struggling with these blatant lies. I'm not here to butt heads with a liar. I'm here to help turn this business around. <sighs> Afni, you can talk to me. Are you worried about Brent? He's my husband. Yes, I am. It's my life. We have a daughter together. Does your daughter feel this at home? Yeah. And he fell out with his son. He fired his son. Yeah. Does that still bother him? Is that what it is? He's still his son. Of course he's still his son. I still care about him. It doesn't sound like he's caring about him. The guy was drinking. He needed help. And he got rid of him. Is that what's bothering him? Is that why he's in denial? 
I need Brent to take his guard down. Something inside here is bothering him. I don't know if it's the financial debt, the pressure. Is it his son? I don't know. I can't get in. I want to talk to his son. How can I get hold of him? I got his number. Thank you. Afni, you're the only hope I've got. Can we work together? Yeah. And can we get him to yeah. open up? OK. And tomorrow morning, I want the truth and nothing but the truth. OK. I really needed to break through to Brent and to see why he is so stubborn. So my team and I attempted to get hold of his son to meet me at the hotel, but we were unsuccessful. Now it's up to me to try to get through to Brent. Let's take a seat at the bar. I've got to get through to you. Why are you so stubborn? You got fucked off last night, I mentioned your son. Mm -hmm. Why did that hit a nerve? You know, we, we just had a, a, a breakdown in the relationship when his when his mom remarried. Yeah. Uh, they, she remarried the same day the divorce was final. So, parted company with your son. Mm -hmm. You weren't even present at your daughter's wedding. I was not invited. I didn't even know she got married. I was destroyed. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to see their daughter. Mm -hmm. I've, got, I've got three daughters. That's painful. You know, when, you're, when your uh, kids tell you... I don't know, Gordon. Tell you what. Well, uh, <clears throat> I have three grandkids. I haven't even seen two of them. You know what? You know, I am stubborn. Maybe I am stubborn, but when you get shut off, and then their mom died. I thought, wow, maybe this is going to be my chance. Maybe they're going to come to me. But my but you can't. My son stop. just drinks too goddamn much. I, I, but I, but that, but that, you're still their father. You're still their dad. I know it. You can't go around with that, 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 mm -hmm. that, that anger. I, 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 I've been waiting for them to come to me. Instead, that, instead of the other. That's never yeah. going to happen. Yeah. It's not well, that's, time. that's my proudness and my stubbornness, yeah. I, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to change your ways and you have to start becoming a lot more generous as an owner, as a father responsible for three kids. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm not here to fix your family. I'd love you to. I would so fucking love you to. And just you calling them, making an effort, they need to see the change. But you need to embrace that. Yeah. I agree. There's too much at stake. Reach out to those kids. You've got to bring those barriers down and you've got to open up and somewhere in there there's the friendly, comforting, supportive, you know, astute. Brent, we've got to get back there. Okay. Brent and Anthony's bad reputation within the town comes as no surprise. You got a picture there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Give me two minutes, please, okay? I've gathered local business owners to show Brent and Anthony the issues they don't realise they have. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Good, good. First of all, I just want to say a big thank you for coming. You guys are the pillars of the community. You have businesses and you are very proud of what you've built here. And I've been struggling, trying to get through to Brent. He's in denial. I feel like Brent is an undertaker. Those people that are working for him, there aren't many yes. that have very good things to say. Wow. That's ridiculous. I had a friend that used to work here at BC's, and she had a customer that had a steak dinner and her baked potato, it was all great, and he wanted to take it with him, so she took it in the back and set it on the counter and went to get a to-go container, and Afni sc scraped it into the garbage, and she said, well, uh, my customer kind of wanted to take that, and she watched Afni grab the baked potato, oh. wipe it off, no. and grab the steak. Out the trash. And she made her give that to the customer. No. Oh. Wow. No free samples on the ice cream. How hard is it to give somebody a little plastic spoon? Wow. <laughs> what do they give back to the town? They are absolutely no part of this community. They have, they have built walls around themselves, and you need to take care 
of each other in the off season. It's locals taking care of locals. Yeah. You know, I will That's say with the fires, say. you know, this whole town came together and I don't think I can remember them offering help in any way. It was a crisis that everybody found a need and everybody helped. Yeah, except them. Except them. But that's the spirit of Chelan, I think, is what we're getting at. We share tractors. We share, you know, from vineyard work to some of us have restaurants. So we share employees. He's oblivious. How come there's no wine? from this amazing region on their list. When we first started our winery, his excuse was that the wineries have restaurants that compete with his restaurant. In addition to that, it, it would be a shame if there was just one good place in town to go to. We want tourists to come here and have a great time everywhere they go. So if, if he does well, we'll all do well. I really appreciate the feedback, but I want you to help me get through them on another level now because I'm going to go and get them. And we're going to tackle this head on. Uh, give me two minutes. Thank you so much. You want to go? It's really, really hard to take it. Let's go. Because we try really hard. It just shocked me. Wow. Hi. Hi, Hi folks. Everybody. These are, in my mind, even more important than customers because you guys should be bonded. Clearly, you're not. Why is it taking so long? Sometimes you need somebody to slap your face. We were in a comfort zone, yeah. somewhat, and uh, used to the way we did everything, uh, you, you know, for a lot of years, and uh, it needs to be changed. Maybe, maybe we banked on the location too much. There's a lot of things we've done wrong. They're desperate to see you do well. Anything to say? There can never be too many fun, good places in town. We always want somewhere to go and relax and enjoy ourselves. I think we all want you back on our radar. All of this has been a wake-up call for us. This is part of the reason why we asked Chef Ramsey to come to help us. We're listening. We, we heard everything that you had to say. And we are going to try to do much, much better. We're hearing you. I don't think that I knew how the business community was connected, that everybody is feeding off of each other. We have to realize that to be part of this connection, we have to change. With Brent and Anthony committing to change, my team moved forward, getting rid of all the dust and cobwebs. We furnished all the rooms with brand new bedding, but the biggest change was overhauling the ice cream parlor. Off we go. Ladies, welcome. <gasps> my God! Holy moly! Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is what I call a parlor. You had a dreadful space yeah. here. Previously. Yes, oh my God. Now, it's turned into something magical. Do you think there's any chance that I could get a sample? <laughs> we will be throwing samples out everywhere. This is way beyond our expectation. Given the importance of the local wineries, I brought in Samilia Dave Foss. How are you? Who repaired the bad reputations with the locals that Brent and Afni had. You're going to need to nurture those relationships. And he created a brand new menu featuring all Washington wine. You're no longer going to have to say, sorry, I don't have any local wines. Finally, to accompany all this, I created a smaller, more exciting menu that features all fresh food. Dig in, have a little taste. Oh my God, this is so good. It's delicious. Oh my God. Mm. Everything fresh, better. Mm. Fantastic. What I have learned from this community is that local support is everything, and this town is willing to give Brent and Afni a second chance. Hi, everybody. How are you today? Good to see you guys. Would you like to see my new ice cream parlor here? With all the new improvements, I'm hoping Brent and Afni make a good impression for the people of Chelan. I actually brought you a list of a lot of the purveyors that we work with. Cool. Oh, you want to check in? How are you guys? The hotel is booked up. This is just gorgeous. And the guests will sleep well tonight in the brand new bedding we've added to all the rooms. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try the feral salad. There's a real buzz about the new menu. Order up. And the kitchen is easily executing the dishes. A quiche, a chicken sandwich, and I got the salmon. Okay. 
what we're trying to do is just focus on the local wineries. With the help of sommelier Dave Foss, the customers are pleased with the local selection of wines they're offering at BC McDonald's. You like that? It's really good. Yeah? <laughs> I'm always making a mess. That's the idea. I'm the official scooper. The ice cream shop is a hit, and Brent is even happy giving away samples. If you drop it on the floor, you own it. Brent. With everything a success, I'm hoping Brent makes one important rule change with his hotel. Have you thought about what I mentioned about the children regarding children in the hotel, or are you still sticking with no children? You know what? I'm going to stick to the adults only. Adults only. Why? Well, look at and you take two or three or four children up there, and I'm going to tell you, they wipe out the whole damn place. What, the noise? Noise, crying, whatever, uh, gum, and, uh, pop, and God forbid, uh, samples of ice cream. They will You talk. have a young daughter. I know. I'm talking three, four, eight-year-old. Have you asked yourself the consequences you know, of my missing on turnover revenue? You know, we may miss a few, but I think we miss a few on the other end if there were two or three kids running down the hall. But not every, yeah. every kid is, is, is that noisy. I mean, just trying to be open with maybe a couple of rooms. I will give it thought. That's a tough one. I'm disappointed Brent won't alter his rules about allowing kids at the hotel. But hopefully, after seeing the success of the relaunch, he'll change his mind. Keep up the good work, yes? Ryan, do not let him go back. Absolutely not. OK. No. Well done. Yep. Thank you. Are you leaving? Yes, I am. Everybody now in this town is rallying around for your success. Yes. So embrace it. Watching you stand behind mm -hmm. that counter, just giving samples out and seeing the delight on the kid's face, that is extraordinary. It's awesome. Please don't go back. Stay strong. We will. Yeah. There's an amazing guy underneath all those layers. There is? Yes, there is. Yeah, I'm just... There is. Thank you. There is. You can do this, OK? I can do it. Yeah? yeah. Take care. Thank you so much. All right. Look out. OK. Thank you so much. And he's going to think on. about getting yeah. some kids in here. OK. OK. Yeah. We're, not we're working bad. on it. I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Stubborn. OK. A okay. couple of scoops of ice cream goes a long way. Ooh, boy, it's really gone down, hasn't it? I'm getting money <laughs> out OK, thank you. Take so care. Yeah. Good night. OK, bye-bye. Despite my help with the outreach of the community, Brent quickly reverted back to his old ways, distancing himself from the locals. Much of the staff have left or been fired, and the hotel's reputation within the town has only gotten worse. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know where in the hell everybody's at. <laughs>